So, Tommy, um, either the best idea ever or the worst idea ever. A um, couple days ago, we started to see these beautiful artist renderings of these. Um, they look kind of like the sky buckets in Disneyland yeah. or maybe at a, at it's a, a night. It's a ski lift. It's a great ski lift yeah. looking thing. Yeah. You would so what you do is you would drive to Union Station, park your car, key. Then you <laughs> apparently looks like just small groups of people who right are all very happy. Yeah. You get on the gondola and it takes you from Union Station up to Dodger Stadium and you go watch a game and you don't have to fight that horrible traffic. I thought it was the greatest idea ever. My good friend Tommy. Not well, I so did much. a column about it because once this happened, I said, there's got to be something weird about this. And of course there was because Frank McCourt's behind it. Frank, who now owns the parking lot around Dodger Stadium, that was his severance package when they kicked him out of the game. Um, nice. At a point where he was going to use the new TV deal as his new next ATM machine, baseball said, no, this is not going to happen. So right. they kicked Frank out, but you can keep the parking lot. And so they've started this shuttle bus from Union Station to Dodger Stadium. And it, it, it's, it's kind of a cluster mess. It's okay. It's the, the traffic does not uh, flow better with this bus. And I don't know what the distance is. It's got to be less than two miles, right? Mm -hmm. You think it is? Oh, yeah. It's, it's really well intentioned. It's in, of yeah. course it is. Yeah. But since we don't have public transportation like a Yankee Stadium or a Fenway Park that drops you straight off, even the Angels have Amtrak you can take mm -hmm. and get and cross the street and go. Right. Dodger Stadium has always been in this weird, peculiar place where you can't tunnel in there. You can't drive in there, so let's go air. Let's yeah. go air McCourt. Right. And they made this idea like $135 million. It's going to be privately funded. Which, there's no way you could do that for $135 million. Yeah. That's what they're paying for beachfront property. But you're what? going over the freeway. You're going right. over Chinatown. You're going over yeah. Alvera Street, and you're going to land in this parking lot. But there's so many questions that be have to be answered before this gets done in 2020, I think, is right. what they're Which planning for. Which is fast. For. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, not only EPA, you've got to pass all these, you know, structural, geological issues. But where are you going to park at Union Station mm. to take this tram? My guess is Frank has probably targeted a lot of parking lots around Union Station where he's going to charge you to park there, charge you to take the tram. You, you avoid his parking fee, but you don't really because then you go back and this is just a whole other traffic jam getting right. out of Union Station because right. going home from Union Station is no pretty ride either. You know, I have to admit, I love this idea, uh, partly because it did seem like a Disneyland ride. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you said this is a Frank McCourt production, I had that feeling like when you watch those old like Halloween movies or whatever, where you think he's dead, and all of a sudden they look yeah, at yeah. 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 exactly. I'm the like, because I thought Frank McCourt was gone. The call is coming from inside the <laughs> tram. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things, though. See, like if you're watching this not in L.A., <laughs> there, you said it's well-intentioned. There's so many well-intentioned things yeah. they do here. And none of them work. And no. I was telling Tommy, literally 1994, so that's got to be like, what? A bajillion years ago. 24 years ago, I'm doing a story with a traffic engineer, and they were going to do <laughs> something like some kind of diamond lane or whatever. And the guy go, I said, so what's, what's the main problem with L.A. Um, traffic? Is it the flow? Is it this? Is it that? He goes, there's too many cars. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But how about that? He goes, no, 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 no. There's too many cars. <laughs> there just comes a point where there's too many cars. And so all this stuff, like, I didn't even think of it. Johnny said, well, okay, you're not going to park at the stadium. Where are you going to park down there? And I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. Where it's are you gonna always park a, there's down always there? an angle, right? Yeah, exactly. There's always I, an angle. I think once uh, this, and heading into the Olympics, what, 10 years from now right. or whatever they're going to be, there's so much expansion going on with the metro lines yeah. and you know the green line, which is near, which goes down to the South Bay, right. which is where I would uh, pick up. That's right. what that's what they're really hoping. Is that's that the only way it works. Up, yeah. it, you're going to pick up on like the green line or the blue line or the met or the uh, expo line in Santa Monica right. or something. Yeah. You're going to take that the whole way. That's basically with the expo line opening up. That's how I go to the Coliseum. Now. Yeah, right. I don't I do too. I don't drive to the Coliseum. I at park all. in right. this, you know, multi-story parking lot on La Cienega and was it Jefferson or in that area. Yeah. And just take the straight shot to the game and it's uh, maybe it's a little bit of line coming back but it's way better Yeah, that's the only way this works is if yeah. people actually embrace the train which of course they've done yeah la a it, the metro the metro line or not the metro the expo line into santa monica yeah. has been a huge success yes yeah. with yeah. the exception of its opening day where there's like a car broke down on the track or yeah something. that's gonna happen <laughs> but yeah. it's it's been yeah. a huge success right. and there is uh with everything coming up within the la city uh government and things that are changing uh, it's 
going to be pushed more and more and more. Now, you just hit on something I think that might push this, or at least might push the idea where they get more artist rendering out there. The mayor of L.A., Eric Garcetti, has started to show up in Iowa for some reason, yeah. Tommy. Hmm. Now, what could he be doing in Iowa? Not running for California governor. No, no. which L.A. mayors do not do well when no. they run. And no. apparently, I th look, what, what problem could you solve that would give you a national platform? L.A. traffic. It's right. like one word. Everyone he's already, knows. Yeah, he's already championed some sort of bridge over the 405. Right. He's, he's got all these great plans to make traffic better. It reminds me of the California governor race back when Schwarzenegger won it. How many years yeah. ago that was? Ten years ago now? Where all these nutballs were kind of getting involved in it. And remember Gallagher, the comedian? Right. He was running for governor, and his, his, uh, his, <laughs> his campaign promise was, when there's a traffic jam on the 405, he's going to smash a watermelon. Right, you know he should. <laughs> I will bring a helicopter that will pick up the car, take it away, and the traffic will be fine because people would not right. move over to the side. And that I thought he could actually win on that. It, remember, remember the day when someone like Gallagher running for a big public <laughs> office seemed crazy. <laughs> right. mm, well, and Schwarzenegger set the so set much. the template right, right there, right? Yeah, and Schwarzenegger looking back looks like John Adams. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> right. Whatever. Yeah, I, I, I want this to work, but you, you, would act, you actually, beyond McCourt, beyond the parking, you just think this is a disaster. Well, one of the things when I was talking to our illustrator, Jim Thompson, about yeah. it, you get, on a ga you get on one of these gondolas, giant Dodger fans, it's like a cage match. Right. You know, you're, you're, there's a closet in the sky that's not going to open up for 10 minutes. What's going to happen if there's, right. if there's an issue? Um, you, have the, you have Jim's uh, illustration. It's up right now, yeah. yeah. Look at that. I mean, there you go. Yeah. It's an illustration, basically, of a couple Dodger fans with a giant fan right in the middle. And he says, there's the speaker. It says, we apologize for the delay in this. There'll be another 15 minutes. And they're that's all. That's cute that Jim thinks that the speaker would be that clear. <laughs> Well, it, it, you know it would be like. That's a perfect example of L.A. people would much rather be crowded in cars where we're surrounded by <laughs> steel <laughs> and away from each other yeah. than like that. Actually, yeah. have to touch because L.A. people do not like to touch. No, th they don't like to look. Well, the at giant each other. fan in this picture is obviously going. This is not a good idea. Right. Exactly. This is not a good idea. Yeah, I and mean. it's funny. Like you go to San, you go to a San Francisco game, the 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 rapid Yo. transit comes right up to the oh. the stadium. Yeah, the 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 cable cars. I mean, you go to Seattle. One of the yeah. beauty things of Seattle is the monorail they have right. up there that takes you from the Space Needle yeah. down to the arena that used to be there. I mean, right. there's perfect a lot of examples of great public transportation industrial things i mean even angel's flight was a great idea mm -hmm. taking out bunker hill but that thing breaks down all the time right this thing uh, <laughs> i think it's a great idea and of course an idea is a great idea it'll never happen of course not ever i'm hoping for it well <laughs> something to I give me the dodger stadium a little yes. bit easier yeah because yeah. getting i mean getting there is one thing getting into the stadium is kind of a pain that last turn going right up to Vince Gully. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I'd like to do uh, a, whole, a whole, whole show about that. Yeah. Getting out is, yes. is yeah. the worst. Well, there yeah. was a, a, an episode of The Simpsons last week. I recorded this. I put it on by my, on my Twitter account. A new episode? A new episode. Oh, my God. Season 29, episode 18. Oh, my God. Homer and his dad having a problem. They're going to go to one of those escape rooms. Yeah. Right? Panic room. Panic room. Well, they called it an escape room. Yeah. And up on the wall, there, there was these different scenarios, and the one said exiting Dodger Stadium. <laughs> it's true. It's part of the, you know. And the thing, and, and we can't do it here, but I'd love to do a whole show about this. How is it that my whole life I've been going to Dodger Stadium? The stadium hasn't changed. It's still fifty thousand people. The same amount of people still yeah. show up, and yet. In the old days, yeah, it might take you 45 minutes to get out. It's never that bad. They keep rearranging exits and entrances. And they and make it worse. Parking cones and security guards in the parking lot. They're allowing pedestrians to cross right. in front of you yeah. for crying out loud. They tinkered too much. Yeah. Man, it yeah. seems like whoever, they overcompensated. whoever is running that parking lot doesn't know what he's doing. Who would that be? Uh, that McCourt fellow. Well, there you go. Hmm. Mr. Parking Lot. That's <laughs> what he was called, Mr. Parking Lot. Mr. He was parking Boston lot. Parking Lot guy. <laughs> remember that? Right. Yeah, I do yep, remember so. that. Have fun. Hey, <laughs> you got any ideas on how to fix this? Yes. Send us a message on Facebook. Let put us it know. In, yeah, put it in the comment section. Too many cars. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up. That was kind of cool. That was pretty good. <laughs> it's too legit. All right. Thank you.